Right there. You were good. It was in all the way. All the way. On the take, Henderson. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh, Scoot Henderson. Easy. Sure. On the ground, knocked down by De Jesus. He comes home. That throw is on target, and it cuts down Baloo. Another play action fake for Cook on first down, looking downfield. This time he's got his big tight end. John Tito leaps into the end zone for a shorter touchdown. Good afternoon from Birmingham, Alabama and Legacy Arena as the Memphis Hustle have made the drive down I-22 for the first time this year to take on the Birmingham Squadron. Inside Legacy Arena, welcome to our coverage of the NBA G League here on NBA TV. That's former Alabama coach Rick Moody and I'm Blake Gardner. And Rick, the Birmingham squadron come into the day trying to keep this hot start to the season going. And if that matchup looked a little familiar, it probably should. These two schools met on the gridiron for the state championship football game a few months back. Now, Bart, they meet on the hardwood. Robinson kicks, Pemberton fires a tray and knocks it down. Okay. Next bucket wins. <laughs> Next bucket wins. The squadron get first crack. The next two points wins the game either way. First of all, take care of the basketball. You got to get an opportunity. Hill with the timer at five. Hill on the drive. Kelly lays it in. Squadron win. We're joined by a very special guest, the newest member of the ownership group for Birmingham Legion FC, one and only Mr. Dominique Wilkins. Sir, you've been a busy man the last couple days. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, but yeah, I'm, I'm floating on fumes right now. But it's good stuff, though. It's good stuff. I'm really excited to be here and be a part of the family. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a, a busy couple days. Anderson Asiedu pushing forward for the Legion. There Great ball across. Wegbo scores. Nice. Birmingham Legion in front. Right as Dominique Wilkins jumps <laughs> on the mic, the Legion take the lead. Well, there's the good luck charm. Hey, I need to come up here more often. Yeah, you should <laughs> hang, out the, hang out the rest of the half. There's no reason for you to head out. She's given this Mox Block a bit of a jolt here in the third. Great play by Morgan and Keyshock just to keep it alive, but the Mox can tie things back up. Romano, not this time. Kate Wonis says no. Bruce hammers this into right. This will score both. A two out, two RBI hit. Ties the game at six. Arbolita hits this pretty well into right center. Gasparino going back. He's out of room. This is gone. Carry Arbolita to the deepest part of the yard. A two run shot makes it three nothing Cougs. It just feels like sooner rather than later, there's going to be a killer goal scoring opportunity. Mark Segbers hoping it's right here. Segbers a step over a dummy, leaves it for Ikaza. He doesn't miss this time. Emilio Ikaza puts Charleston in front with less than a half hour to play. First pitch to Hampton is waved at. That's the kind of swing that gets you on Pitching Ninja Twitter right there. Legacy Arena, if you're not here tonight on Monday, Participate in the live auction for those. Noel off the window. That is stuck. Unbelievable. Really? Really? He really wanted to make his point heard, and then when he walked back in the dugout, he had more. Salvo couldn't keep the hands back. The inning comes to a close, but for the second time in three innings, Sanford comes up with a grand slam. Andrew Bennett was one for his last 22. What a way to break out of a slump. A grand slam makes it 8 0 Sanford on top here in Hoover. Wilson Beaver stocks. Extra point is up and good. Sanford's got their second touchdown drive of the day. Six plays, 67 yards, and a little over two minutes. So far today, it's been the ground game for the Bulldogs. Jay Stanton, 106 yards and two touchdowns already in this first half. Veteran running back, powering the Bulldogs back in front. 